started. There we go. <laughs> Exhibition playlist. Oh. You should drop your YouTube channel and you can follow you. Oh, alrighty. Thank you. showcasing for now.
at a Sotheby's auction. We need to get a little closer. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get that high. <laughs> Probably should just be reading this out loud. Yeah, why not? What? Yeah, maybe. Okay. stuff right now. For what? For their own stuff. Oh, is this like brand new place? Yeah, this opened like last weekend. Really? Yeah, last weekend the opening tickets were like $124. This is the first normal weekend. Really? Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, wow, the the floor. <laughs> and it still looks like it's in progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, coding. Thank you. 
It's a minor, a little tiny minor setup. It's so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Better than yours. <laughs> part of a Christie's. Yeah, no, there's no fucking way. So pretty. The aliasing could have been better. Oh my gosh. So picky. For the anti-aliasing, I should say. Like, look, look at the aliasing on these leaves. I don't know what aliasing is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're so picky. Four wins. They won't. <laughs> Not nearly worth enough to be in here. If these are like the starting exhibitions, then yeah, there's no way. I can't compete with this. They have the squiggle. Oh, crawling. Oh wow. I like the clockwork effect. I like the nails. <laughs> you wish you could have nails like that? No. You'd never be able to play my own. I'd never be able to scratch myself. Are you kidding? <laughs> you could. Probably a little too well. I wouldn't be scratching. Those are probably possible to be honest. Think about it, you could commit surgery. Commit surgery. You could commit commit surgery. surgery. Commit surgery. <laughs> yes, let's commit surgery. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Well, my, my day job. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, software companies, but, uh, Well, I've really been um, intrigued by the blockchain uh, and crypto uh, since the early days. Uh, I had a little Bitcoin miner on my desk in 2013 uh, just for fun and stuff. So I, uh, yeah. I've always been intrigued by that and uh, when I'm <laughs> about, I kind of signed about holding the I did hard on the I think it's. Um, I think the, the thing that's neat about uh, NFTs is it's the digital transformation part. So if you think about every other industry that you know, we deal with on a daily basis, it's already mostly on the digital transformation, right? So take travel, something we all do all the time. Um, you just have to call a travel agent in one of those days uh, and actually talk to someone, and you have to like trust, you know, do they know what they're talking about? Is this going to be a good trip or something? But now we just go on the internet and we can just call travel. Uh, we have, um, Oh, EFTs. Language of NFTs. I imagine all your followers already know what this is. Probably. Mediation is fine. Good morning. Is the same coat? Or huh? Are all of these the same coat? Are they all different? I don't know. Since I can't shake. Check. <laughs> what motivates you to collect? Is it making money or is it items that you should get? I think it's a number of things. The community is a really big part of it, which uh, I can't really speak to what the traditional art world looks like, but I think it's about our neighborhood. Because it's all online, all of the communities are also online. Connecting via Discord and Twitter. Uh, and I think that the, the community aspect. Oh dang, yeah, hold on. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. The heart that bleeds. Okay. Very cool. Most of these are probably on Ethereum. It's like the major chain to be on for these. Render free time. Oh, hello. Those are some big eyes. Kind of creepy. Yeah, I agree. No, i Tiny mouth, big eyes. I guess this is it's the It's technically anime. Yeah. Oh, there's so many Eternal Bloom. Oh, it's on Super Air. Vancouver. To be fair, those might. Yeah, no, those are teeth. Those are definitely her teeth. What's up? I thought maybe it was her gums. No, that's her teeth. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Artificial dope. <laughs> Future memory two. Twenty-five frames per second. 
and all of the all 180 year olds were meant to impersonate me. So that was really funny. Very 80s. I kind of like the Spartan helmet look. I think we'll see more. Looks yummy. Looks like it'd be very tasty to eat. It also looks like a bad trip. Good trip. Good trip, bad trip. Both. I like this bubble. This makes you angry? You know, this type of stuff makes me angry. And the squiggle. I'm basically trying to sit long enough for people to be able to pause to read it if they want to. I'm basically trying to pause on these long enough to let people read it if they want to. That is a very so dense fun. piece. Very dense. It looks cool, but there's too much going on for me. I kind of like that though. Is that squiggle number one? I don't think that's number one. <laughs> no idea. Hey, a punk! They have an actual crypto punk. Nice. Okay, hold on. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. We'll come back and take a look at the placard here in a second. I was there to help bring it to the Of course, none of the market Interesting. On the other side of the pool. Like Romy Squiggles? Or Crypto Folks? 
I tried to sell it to someone else, it just looked like a lot of people were used to it. You know, it's pretty So, the authenticity is meaning that you don't have to trust someone. I like that one. This one? Yeah. I feel like five bucks for it. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, someone out front. Okay, I want a thing. I would like a merch. Okay. Merch, want merch. Hmm. What do you think we should go for? Glows in the dark? I think I want one. I think I found the thing I want. It's Is a it pin. A pin? Yeah. Where do you buy this? Probably over there. Do you want anything? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might just stick with a pin. Definitely want here? Cool. Yes. Let me, uh, let me add that here. Okay. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, and the TR. I don't know which one this one is. The pin. Alright, oops. Oops. Alright, then. And the T pins. Cool. Alright, one of those. Add to cart. Alright, so we got 1430. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Alright. Just have to pay with the crypto card though. That's the one that has the money. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, I like the way you have thought though. It's kind of oh, we got it. Oh, I think I didn't do it right. One second, sorry about that. No, I just. Yeah. I mean, three percent crypto back? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, just not gonna make sense. Yeah. Is it being a stubborn yeah. piece of shit? <laughs> so it's me, right? So the thing is, with this, I have to do like perfectly straight. Here, how about I just hold the back real hard? There you go. <laughs> Hey. Oh, sorry. 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 You're good. Hey, hey, hey. Actually, we're just. just... All right, maybe I'll just switch it over here. This this would be a lot easier here. All right, here we go. Question: Do you guys like? Are you guys looking for display time donation type things? The donations. Well, yeah, I always. Mean, not like full on donation of an NFT. I mean, like for display for, for a display. While. Yeah, for sure. Always. Yeah, actually. Okay. Um, the process on that, uh, I know like the email for the owner is online, but two of the owners are here. Uh, they the look website. like they're probably getting interviewed. Are they? Okay, they <laughs> might be. I mean, also, one of them is. They might also be outside. One's named Jennifer, one's named uh, Matt. Okay. Uh, or at least someone's getting interviewed over there. There's <laughs> a bunch of them here. Like a bunch of the creators are in. Oh, ah, that's there you fine. go. Uh, how would you like to receive? Like an email, they're printed or text. So long as you know I bought it. Cool, for sure, for sure. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, let me. Oh, that's Matt over there, actually. That's yeah, because I, I definitely don't have like super rare pieces yeah. at all. I mean, but if you guys needed specific things, you can always look at my wallet and see. Yeah, if you I'm want sure to they'd totally be interested. Yeah, totally be interested. Yeah, definitely from the mail. Yeah. So should I talk to him or? Yeah, I'll give you introduction. Make it easy. Okay. Also, don't want to just. Uh -huh. 
getting collected into the museum. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you are you on our Discord? Have you joined our Discord yet? I have not. You I should know join. You have yeah. One. So <laughs> the, the best way is to is to tweet us. Yeah, um, um, not getting people. So we're doing we're doing one to one. Um, we just give one link at a time. We're not just posting the link everywhere. Makes sense. So if you just tweet and say, hey, you know, DM us the the Discord. I'll add to the Discord. So we have little sections in there. Um, you know, kind of focused on collectors, artists, and builders. We have like a little hub and that sort of thing. And the best thing to do, honestly, like we all of our curators are thematic in, in, to some degree okay. and so at it and then about every six weeks is when we do a total refresh of the whole exhibition we will always have some space for collections that we're going to be showing on display versus what we're showing with artists because we believe that's a way to, to expand the diversity of art that's shown in each exhibition we don't want to be like a gallery where you're sort of seeing all the same stuff represented by all the same people. <laughs> Makes sense. Absolutely. Um, so, so the main thing is like figuring out like things that you're really passionate about that end up lining up with something that's thematic about a future ex ex exhibition. And the best way for us is to do that is start to talk to each other and get to know each other on there. There's some places where you can show, um, you know, stuff in your collection that you're liking or things that you're following and start to connect to collectors that way. We're also going to do a collector meetup um, in early March. Um, and that's going to be just, just inviting collectors to come and talk with each other uh, and think about like what are some things that the collector community wants to see in the museum. Okay. So, so yeah, we're, we're just learning and the best way is just to start getting involved. Awesome. So, uh, where... Oh, Seattle NFT Museum uh, or SEA NFT on Twitter. Okay, because I have the website. I oh, just... Yeah, just go to the Twitter handle. Okay, so find the Twitter handle, go from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, because I don't think I saw it. Oh, on the website? Uh, on mobile, it might be kind of hidden, I'm not sure. If you literally just search Seattle NFT Museum on Twitter, it will be the number one Got it. Uh, result. If you have any problems with it, hit us up on email, info at seattlenftmuseum.com. Got it. Um, but it should, you shouldn't have any issues with it. Um, and it'll either be me or Jennifer that gives you the Discord link, probably. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we'll invite you on in. Uh, we're keeping it kind of tight and small. We're, you know, it's like less than 500 people right now. Um, and yeah, you know, just come and be active and enjoy. Got it. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is awesome. I love that there's you finally... You enjoyed it? Yeah, I'm happy that there's finally like a physical space. How did it compare to your expectations before you came in today? Uh, there's a lot of... I guess it's featured artists right now, so mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I was expecting a little more variety across yeah. the platforms, yeah. but again, it's featured artists, so it makes sense. And yeah, I was hoping yeah. for a bigger space, but I mean, it's Seattle. <laughs> We're growing. We're early. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is phase one. Yeah. But I was no. surprised you guys didn't have a board ape somewhere because like when people <laughs> always hear about NFTs, they're like, wow, those sell for so much money. That's so stupid. So I'm surprised you guys didn't have one. We we sort of had the the opposite, you know, the crypto punk, obviously. <laughs> um, we probably won't show like multiple PFPs at a time. Um, PFPs are it, such a phase right now. Well, There's we so just, many. <laughs> we, it's it's just one, it's one thing that people can be really into, and that's one, that's great. If you're in, if you're into Pokemon cards and stuff like that, that's great too. Like you know, but not everybody's into that. But we do need that representation for people to understand like this is what that is and this is what this is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, to provide some of that variety. I am very happy that it wasn't. Flooded the <laughs> <laughs> Good, That's good, where good. OpenSea is right now. I know. It's sad. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, and and we have a few exhibitions that will probably be a little bit more Solana focused, and some that are a little bit more Tezos focused. Yeah. Um, you know, it kind of depends on what it is that we're highlighting. Obviously, if we're going to do something like highlight climate impacts and things like that in an exhibition, then it would make a lot of sense to be referencing those chains, um, while at the same time having the conversation about what proof of stake, you know, does, you know, in terms of equitable, you know, opportunity as well. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're still uh, finding our way on all of that. I'm so excited. Are you guys going to consider doing, like, more membership recurring type things we are yeah yeah we have we we, we kind of want to just get live and start listening to our community first before we go and like harden a bunch of rules about things that we haven't 
haven't gotten feedback on yet. Okay. Um, so really, we're taking feedback on it. If you have ideas about how you'd like to think about membership or see membership, obviously. You guys should do an NFT membership thing. Yeah, yeah, with the token, yeah, yes, of course. That of would course. be amazing. Um, you got the pull out? Uh, unfortunately, oh, okay. my phone doesn't scan them very well, so oh, I took a fine. picture of it, and hopefully I can yeah. do like a scanning thing later. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, no! <laughs> Oh, were you were you using the POAP app to try to scan it? I know that, that my POAP app doesn't have it, and oh, my okay, phone okay. doesn't automatically scan QR codes. Oh, you so it off I have to, on that thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think mine has it because oh, it's really? a different kind of phone. Oh, interesting, <laughs> interesting. Okay. So their their Gen One phone, that's what this is, doesn't it doesn't seem to have that with it. Interesting. So I'm probably gonna have to try and get this Gen Two phone to get that to work. Cool. Which cool. sucks, but you know. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming in. Really nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you in the Discord. Awesome. <laughs> happy, happy. What connection do you guys have with the Climate Pledge? Happy birthday. I know you said so, your thing uh, doesn't stand. I have a Discord yeah. invite. Would this work? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, no worries. It's okay. You can send it to like yeah, my I'm Twitter, just, though. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's easier to get the invites right away. Yeah. God bless them, I know. And like, I know he's got to be absolutely flooded. Like, oh my God, can I interview you? Like, right now he's like, okay, be good representative. <laughs> I'm like, I get it. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Twitter right there. I'm going to send it right away for you. That way, um, that way we get it done. <laughs> right away. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many. Nope, wrong way. So, uh, I, I, uh, Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, thank Perfect. you. As soon as you follow me, I'll be able to DM you. Yeah. Got it. Thank Excellent. you. Of course, happy birthday as well. Oh. Did you tell him? What? Did you tell him? I may have told him. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you guys all for all for coming down. Oh my gosh. If they start yeah. doing membership yeah. NFTs, I yeah. am so down. I have to tell at least one person. Uh, okay, so. I thought they were going to sing happy, happy birthday. I didn't want that. <laughs> so, Blanchard and First Avenue, I believe. It's a Taco Del Mar over there. Can I highlight the Taco Del Mar? Well, I'm trying to help people find it if they're not used to this place. So maybe there's that awning, which is kind of indicative. And there is the Seattle NFT Museum. Oh my God, that was great. 